morning from Cinque Terre, Italy. This is the second video as part of our series here on the coast, and it is about 6 a.m. We're getting on the local train that goes along the coastline, heading to another one of the villages, and uh, the weather looks like it's still on our side. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, it's pretty incredible with the waves, and I think, I think, I think they're still here. And it all starts right now. Let's go. <laughs> We made it to Manarola. It's uh, almost 6.30, you had a little delay on the train, but uh, the first one does leave just after six. So that's uh, what we're here for to, to get on those trains to be able to make it here because the, uh, the hiking trails are actually closed at the moment because of this crazy weather. Also, look at this, the boats behind me here in Manarola, they're usually in the water. So a lot of these boats have been brought up into the, the town because of this crazy weather. So interesting to see that, but uh, yeah, I mean, it means that there should still be some waves for us and hopefully some good light too. Manarola, Cinque Terre, just about 6.30 in the morning, nobody's here. Just us, we're the only people, which is nice as photographers. You guys know sunrise is the best time, always. I just got a very classic travel photography shot here, similar to the end of the last video yesterday. We've got a uh, beautiful town on the cliff, colorful houses, just screams, coastal Italy, Cinque Terre, Amalfi Coast, and uh, got nice waves happening in the foreground, not as crazy as yesterday, but still enough to create a lot of drama in the scene. And then beautiful soft sunrise light behind the village. So uh, pretty easy with a couple filters stacked on top of one another here. So with the Benro filter set, this is the FH100M2 that I've had for like four or five years. Um, really, really like it. And it's a square filter setup, so 100 millimeters by 150 or ND filters that are 100 by 100. So uh, basically you got these small little toggles that I can use to move the filters up and down, which is very, very useful when you're stacking, you know, two or three filters. So a uh, nice way to uh, get a couple of long exposures here this morning and add a little bit of drama into the scene. So we've been here now for just over an hour and the sun has risen behind the town and uh, definitely brightening up the sky, uh, which means that our time is almost done. As you guys know, we'll be heading back home when everybody else is waking up and uh, we're gonna have breakfast and then explore a hidden part of Cinque Terre, uh, one of the small villages that not a lot of tourists go to. So this could be something that you haven't seen before and uh, definitely a new location for me as well. So it's going to be a cool afternoon. That's coming up next. going to the mall let's go to the mall is that right sure we're going to Cornelia which is on top of a hill and how are we gonna get there Greg but train you're gonna take the train to the top of the hill no we're gonna go to Cornelia by train and then walk up 400 steps are you gonna count the steps I wasn't planning on it now you gotta do it you gotta prove there's 400 steps or else Guinness book won't approve of your record Going 
We are en route up the stairs to Cornelia, which is one of the five villages. And this is one of the lesser visited ones, simply because it's a bit harder to access. And uh, there are a couple of different ways you can do so. And one of them is the way that we're going, up like 400 steps. And it just uh, zigzags like a giant, like, Z. Can you see it? It's hard to see, but that just keeps going all the way up. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. So. Beautiful weather, gorgeous sun with some clouds, high clouds. Let's explore Cornelia and see if we can find a cool spot for sunset because there's definitely less photo spots here in this town that I've seen from the other four. So it'd be interesting to see that we can find a nice composition from up here. We've made it up to the viewpoint here, and it is looking actually towards where we were this morning, which is uh, a really, really nice, like higher uh, lookout. And you're sort of shooting down towards the city. And we've got about an hour before the sun sets. I think it's going to be really, really nice. You're going to get some beautiful golden light on the uh, the village. And if you shoot a little bit wider, you'll be able to get the whole landscape with some of the clouds in the background, hopefully catching some light. So in, in total, this could be a really, really beautiful, uh, another example of travel photography. And again, travel photography is trying to capture the sense of a scene of a location that really screams and spells that destination. So in this case, with Cinque Terre, you know, you could see this photo from anywhere else in the world and say, yeah, that looks like coastal Italy because it's unique. It's a unique location and it's very, very photogenic. And, uh, and this is uh, what we're here for, to capture exactly this in the best light, in the best situation that we can. And uh, I think from this vantage point, especially with a long lens, you're in for a treat. Just like that, there goes the light. So a, uh, another fantastic sunset in view from this beautiful platform up here overlooking Manarola. And this is kind of a, a hidden spot as part of the Cinque Terre. This is definitely less busy than the other towns that we've been to and something a little bit different because I was not expecting to get such a good view on Manarola across the Mediterranean here. And I did get one one minute long exposure at 400 millimeters that I think looks absolutely beautiful. It is a perfect shot with the long exposure of the waves kind of crashing against the rocks and uh, creating a really nice frame around the town as well. So uh, very, very good photo and a, uh, a nice balance to this morning as well. So uh, cool opportunity 
to, uh, to show you guys a little bit about how I see travel photography. And uh, that is one of the things that, that Brendan and I specialize in for sure. You know, I studied adventure tourism in British Columbia. Uh, Brendan worked as a tour leader as well, as did I, and we've both been traveling the world for over a decade now. So uh, travel photography has been a big part of our lives and uh, being able to run these trips to share that with people who are also interested in capturing the best images that they can of the destinations that, uh, that they're going to or that they want to visit. This is a good example of doing exactly that. So pretty awesome here in Cinque Terre. Hope you like this video and stay tuned because I'm gonna film one more, one more video from this Italy series, which will be uh, the next one coming up next week. And I think it's gonna be a continuation of our explorations here. Uh, but we're going to Rio Maggiore and possibly another awesome sunset in Bernassa.